Alice has been shrunk. Will she notice? Situation. Someone, let's call him Bob, is playing games with someone else, let's call her Alice. Bob used his shrink ray to reduce Alice in size by about 40% for the purpose of this question, don't worry about how this was accomplished, or any of the potential physics issues. He did this while Alice was sleeping, and then moved her. So. Alice wakes up one morning in an unfamiliar bedroom, 60% of her former size, by the way, that's 60%. Height. Not 60%. Mass. Closing parenthesis dot. She is unaware of Bob's shrinking technology, but is predisposed to believe that Bob is pranking her by putting her in a room where everything is larger than normal. Assume she believes that Bob has the means to accomplish this. Eventually, Bob is going to walk in and the jig will be up, but until then. Caveats. Alice's body seems to be functioning normally. Alice's senses, sight, hearing, etc. are not noticeably affected. Alice either doesn't speak, or her voice is not noticeably different. Alice doesn't figure it out from looking at herself. Alice doesn't get up off the bed before Bob arrives. The bedroom is clean and uncluttered, think magazine photo. There are no personal effects in evidence. There are no mirrors in the bedroom. There are light fixtures, but no visible bulbs, and no other electronics. There are several pieces of wood furniture, including the bed, and a chair or two. There are no visible clothes except what Alice is wearing. So Alice won't figure it out due to e.g. looking closely at something like a power plug or smartphone that would be difficult to fake, or noticing that. The entire world, not just an immediate space that Bob might fake or just too many things are scaled up. Question. Will Alice figure out what has really happened before she sees Bob? Is it plausible that she doesn't? If she does figure it out, what gives it away? Would the change in mass be blatantly obvious if her muscles are also weaker? Details. Alice is of sound body and mostly sound mind above average naivete, but for story reasons is not going to be poking around the room before Bob shows up, but this might not be for an hour i.e. she has more than a few seconds. She will likely sit up, maybe stand, roll over, or curl up, but is not going to start doing calisthenics. She's also not going to take her clothes off. There is a window, but the view is not familiar, nor is there anything near enough to the window to make the shrinking obvious. She can closely inspect her clothes and the bed, and can look at other things in the room, but is inclined to believe the clothing could be a trick, coarser fabric, larger than normal thread and such. At least, I don't think it would be obvious if all you can see is natural terrain, and that not very close by. Alice is an avid user of World Builder. While the average person might not notice, the bed materials would be coarser and stiffer than usual. She will feel colder, especially in her extremities. Her body mass will be distributed differently, e.g., her breasts would exhibit less sag, etc. Her hair will be finer thus less stiff, and it will not fall as low as usual. Breathing will be easier, even though her air passages are smaller, as she has to move a smaller volume of air. She will feel both stronger and be more nimble. All movements will be noticeably fast. Though most of these are not terribly noticeable on an individual basis, your brain is tuned for pattern recognition. You would likely get the feel that something is not right pretty quickly even though you may not be able to put your finger on it quickly. Her world-building prowess will enable her to put the pieces together and realize this is no simple prank. Muscle strength varies proportional to cross-sectional area, so less arm weight probably does not correspond to whipping her arms around with super speed and strength. I.e., proportionally faster, stronger but only at the 40% level. However, this reminds me of another subtle square, cube issue. Muscle cells are ultimately limited by the strength of their cell wells, in fact I've read before the limit is actually fairly close to the tear point. The wall cross-sectional area will follow the square law, but I wonder about the motive force within a muscle cell. I am an engineer, not a biologist, my guess is that the motive force within a muscle cell follows the cube law. But, if it actually depends upon internal fibers, etc. it may follow the square law. In this case muscle strength may not vary as I and others previously assumed. By the way, animals have cell membranes, not cell wells, like plants. 